Okay, I'm trying something new. I want fried chicken, but I don't like all that deep frying stuff. So I had some chicken thighs. They're still frozen. So I cut them apart. They were going to break all apart for sure. But then I put in some seasoned salt, some dried onions, some flour, and some cornstarch. And it was just enough to coat them. And then I'm just going to let them sit here until they're, they're more um, thawed out. And I'm just going to keep adding more stuff to it. And we'll see what happens. And then I'm going to cook them in coconut oil. So now I got my chicken in the hot coconut oil and cooking. And both Mike and I both agree that this seemed like a lot of oil. However, once you put the chicken in, it's looking pretty good. So... I'm going to let it cook there, and then I'll flip it all over. And then I think I'm going to put it in my dish. I'm going to put it in my white dish here, my oval dish. And put it in the oven. Put some Parmesan Reggiano cheese on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Just so it stays warm, because we're cooking his bread. We'll see. This is all new to me. We don't do a lot of deep frying or fried foods, per se. Uh, and then in this skillet over here, we're going to have beef tallow and we're going to have the fried potatoes. Sound. Just finished turning my chicken, and I'm telling you, it looks crunchy. I might be onto something. I don't know. Won't know till I bite into it. Here's my other skillet, getting ready for fried potatoes, and I've got the beef tallow melted down. You can see it's not as much as the coconut oil with the chicken. I don't want to deep fry the potatoes. I just want to fry the potatoes. Okay, here's the end result. This is our bowl full of chicken thighs and we're having like a little smorgasbord. We have our raw sauerkraut, a couple pickles, and our fried potatoes. Oh, can't hardly wait. Oh, and we I had made some more honey mustard, just in case.